Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is your personal reading. I just wanted to say thank you again for hitting me up for this reading and also for the healing that you gave me. That was so beautiful. I was really excited to receive that healing and Lord knows I needed it because you guys are not alone. I'm feeling this energy. <laughs> I almost considered maybe like taking a break from the readings for a week, but I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good after doing yoga and meditation. I'm just realizing right now I'm having to stay really diligent and um, making sure I'm eating really healthy and I'm seeing the purification card coming up for you and it's been coming up for everyone. And so, yeah, self-care is so important right now, you guys. Um, I feel like the energies are um, going to settle soon, but there's definitely something going on right now. So if you're feeling it, you're not alone. Um, I'm actually seeing some really beautiful cards here for you, though. Um, I'm really excited to share this. I cannot thank you enough once again for that healing. And I'm excited to do some um, trades with you in the future. I know I mentioned that, like, that healing was so legit that, like, I don't feel like you need to pay me like for a reading, so just hit me up whenever you want a reading and we can trade um, healing for a reading. And anyone else out there who is like a Reiki healer or um, like does any other types of readings um, and you think I might be interested in trading you, then hit me up and DM me, link me to your stuff and if I'm into it, I'll write you back. And if I'm not, don't feel bad about it, it's just there's... I only go for what really resonates with me when it comes to healings and readings and stuff like that. So, but I don't know. I feel like if you're already vibing on my stuff, we'll probably be a match. So definitely hit me up if you want to trade um, healings for a reading. Because I love trading and like with other artists. It's fun. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to look into your current energy. We're going to see what energy is leaving your situation. And then we're going to see what energy is coming into your situation. And then we're going to get into your healing career. And for anyone else who's watching, um, I decided to make this video public. For anyone, it might randomly help. And I'm sure this person will appreciate that too. But um, it's a very specific reading for a person who is a, a healer, who is like in training for energy healing. And their third eye is like awakening and they're starting to hear things and see things a little bit and they're just like having questions about that and like wanting tips and tricks for like how to balance and center and um, I'm also going to do a body scan and like see what chakras need uh, work for you because I know you're a healer and you're wanting to practice and you practice a lot on yourself and you'll probably want to know what chakra centers you need clearing on and we'll see what the cards have to say about that as well. Then we're going to see um, what animal totems are here for you and also like what animal totems you, so you should research into. And then we're going to see what the next step is for you with this healing journey that you're on and um, this like all this amazing um, research that you're doing and training that you're doing, what the next step is. And then we'll see what the overall advice is. So I this is a custom spread. I make everyone who hits me up a custom spread. So if you'd like a personal reading, check out the description below. So let's go ahead and get into this. First, your current energy, you might be surprised, is true love. It says, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to bring great love to you. So the universe is delivering great love to you. And um, I'm interested to know what that's all about. <laughs> um... So I kind of want to like just quickly pull quickly pulling a clarifier. Oh, okay. Okay. I think this is your current situation. <laughs> you're a little bit worried about like your income and how you're going to make things work, especially with this new career that you're going into with your healing and um, you're feeling very um, adventurous and um, you're really nurturing your, your creative spirit right now. So there's a lot of abundance around you. And I feel like this represents like the energy work that you've been doing, which is like really cool. <laughs> um, I also see that you're on some sort of like soulmate or twin flame path. And I think that the universe is trying to hint that like in the future, um, things are going to be looking up for you because this is talking about, you know, I'm just going to read this to you. 
it, it's talking about financial gain and like security and comfort and stability. And it's strange to get this, like with the card, this card, which is the complete opposite. So I feel like your situation is very much in a transition right now. Like you're in a transition between a time where like, like you're coming from this basically, and you're headed to this. So um, I can feel in your current energy, your future. So it's like close, it might be closer than you think. Um, you definitely have favor of the spirit. So yes, this card stands for um, material achievement, financial power, sound business sense, um, a favorable period of financial security, good financial news, business or financial opportunity. And I think that's what this stands for. Financial opportunity. That is, There's an opportunity here for you actually through this healing career and the new things that you're learning. Um, and I would have never thought how much um, <laughs> material gain I would get from doing this channel. So thank you to everyone and thank you for purchasing this. You just never know. When you use your gifts and you follow like your path, it really does lead you to um, your heart's desires and to peace and to fulfillment. For some people, your heart's path leads you to like be a basketball player. But for some people, we're like, I don't know, like a homemaker or like a politician or something. Um, but for other people, like you become a Reiki healer or a tarot reader. And so it can be more difficult when you're flowing into more of like a creative um, healing based practice. Um, it's not necessarily a traditional path. Although there's a lot of resources out there these days for it, which is amazing. I really feel like the world is changing and these paths are going to be a lot more respected. But respect or not, it's hard to go on this path. And I feel like that's something you've been experiencing. That's in like your current energy. But I don't know. I see that you should continue on. The rewards are great. Like you still have this fear that you're going to end up like this. But um, all I'm getting is like true love and like fulfillment and like this is really like in alignment for you. You're very sensitive. You're very nurturing. You're a total empath. Um, this is definitely you. Like you're a healer and um, you know, you can choose any way you want to use these gifts, but it's like you desire to use them on a greater level. You desire to share them with more people and to take your gifts to the next level. And you're wanting to grow and evolve here. And there's a lot of support coming in from the universe. Like, it definitely seems like the path for you, you know? Um, <clears throat> next, we're going to look into what energy is leaving. And <laughs> I'm seeing all the work that you've been doing on yourself. Like, clearing and purifying and everything. Um, and then I also see these responsibilities here. I think, like, this is talking about a time in your life where you've been balancing work. And, like, doing more... Um, practical um I'm just I don't know why the phrase practical solutions is coming to me like maybe you had a lot of things that were kind of falling apart in your life and you had to make practical choices in order to move forward and what I'm seeing with um this purification card is that um this Reiki training was actually a way for you to heal yourself first because there was just a lot of energy built up and you were learning um about all of this and so, um, I see that you spent this time, like, being responsible and clearing yourself, and, um, it's probably why the rest of your reading really has this awesome rebirth, um, aura to it. Like, there's, this is a huge time of rebirth in your life. You're just entering into it, so hang on, it's about to get wild in an awesome way. <laughs> so now we're gonna look into, um, what energy is coming into your life, and yes... Yes. Oh my gosh. Big changes are coming. Definitely big changes. I see the bright future card. I see the home card and I've been getting this for so many people lately. But at the same time, I had one subscriber who told me maybe I've been pulling this so much because it's like a message for me, which, oh my God, I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm really feeling this for you. Like this says, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. And then I see like the fool. This is the fool in traditional tarot. This is the energy that's coming into your life. So if you want to do more research and I'm having the feeling that you're like a total research type, you're probably a total nerd just like me. 
It's okay, nerds rule. <laughs> um, what I'm seeing is that you should look this up, the fool in traditional tarot, like Google it and look up some messages on it and see what applies to you. But you're very much just about to leap into the unknown on like a new journey when it comes to your home and like there's a bright future. It's like you're being called to go somewhere. I don't know where we could pull some cards or like, I don't know. I could probably like see if I can tap into that or something. But honestly, I feel like it's it'd be better if you like figure out where this is. Maybe you, I'm feeling like this energy is fresh, like you're starting to feel like the pull and you really need to trust your gut on where you're being led. I'm also seeing it's like a time for you to not be so emotional, like you're pulling yourself out of the healing waters and up into like action and movement. So there's going to be like more of a 3D oriented life right now. And this is totally how strange, like you and I are really mirroring each other. I feel like I'm exa at exactly the same point in my journey creepy <laughs> just kidding I'm always like having people like email me and ask questions that like I literally just asked my psychic the day before like someone wanting to come to me to get the same exact reading and I'm like oh this is ironic you know or I'm doing readings for people sometimes some of these people are like like you are very similar to where I'm at in my journey um a lot of people who were going through what I was going through a couple years ago fascinating okay I guess I was just kind of taking a little brain break here because there's a lot coming out for you we just covered um, the energy that was um, coming into your life and now we're gonna move on to the whole like you've been sensing spirits and ghosts and things like that and whatnot and um, you know, you mentioned how you grew up in a religious background and how, like, that kind of stuff was always frowned upon. And so, like, you've always just kind of put it to the back of your mind. But now, since you've been doing your healings, these kind of things have been happening more. And you're, like, not freaking out, but just kind of wondering, like, what's going on with this? And, and like, um, and I very much see that, like, your third eye is just very active. And this is something that my psychic told me. Um, she told me that, like, I needed to use some frankincense oil and put it like in the middle of my eyebrows like um I'm trying to like find oh here we go like do you see right where the moon is here on this girl like to put the frankincense oil right here and like a little bit down under the bridge of your nose and that'll it'll actually help clear debris from that area so you're not like feeling all wonky because I know how that is like <clears throat> I'm always tapping into stuff here and like connecting and like doing that kind of stuff that when I walk away from this I don't want to really necessarily live my life like that and that was what was hard for me for so long as a healer was learning how to have like these boundaries with myself and with my skills and with my abilities learning how to like shut the third eye or whatever you call it um I don't know you can never really shut it like once you got a lit third eye but um it's like there's things you can do to help balance yourself and so they're saying art and nature is important like you need to you have a lot of energy coming in, a lot of download, and so they're saying, like, channel your energy into artwork. Like, doing things with your hands is going to be really beneficial for you. So, like, mu something musical, like playing a guitar, playing the piano is coming up for you. Um, just learning basic chords and whatnot. Um, or knitting or um, braiding, um, just embroidery. Doing something with your hands is just really coming up for you to help um, kind of release the energy is the message that's coming through and um I have one more thing I'll show with you but I gotta get up real quick <laughs> okay <laughs> so this is a selenite wand <laughs> and um it actually helps. I just got this like a week ago and I'm like, okay, this works. Sometimes I just like to hold it when I'm doing readings. But what you do is you just go like this in a circular motion. And guess what? I'm going to clear everyone who's watching right now. Everyone who's watching right now. Let's see if this works. Take deep breaths. And now I'm going to hypnotize you. Just kidding. <laughs> there you go. Basically what you do is you do that like up and down all your chakras and um, especially around your third eye and I don't really feel it 
like m like I feel it in my th when I go over my throat and I feel it when I go over my third eye and I think that's because I just need to really work on those places I mean I'm using them a lot so um very interesting but this is a selenite wand it's not expensive at all this is like ten dollars sometimes crystals get really expensive and I'm just like mm. and I always like want to be really careful where I'm getting them from um so like I trust this shop I get it from like get, like has it written down everywhere like how they get all their stuff it's like source themselves and whatnot but um yeah it's important that you figure out way I mean like I even have this this helps me with my throat chakra I'm sure you've got crystals like if you're into all this stuff I'm sure you could probably tell me what crystals and stuff I'm using um, you probably already know about selenite you probably already have tons of it you probably have an altar covered in rocks and stones I actually can see it <laughs> So it's probably ironic that I'm the one who's telling you like kind of some of these tips and tricks because your training has probably taught you even more how to ground and I'd love to hear some of your tips actually. If you want to share any tips with me on how to ground and how to do some of this stuff, please go ahead and do. But the point is, is just to make that like an important part of your practice. I haven't had any issues, um, but when I first started doing readings, I did. I had some issues kind of like that and... Um, now, I don't know, I, I only sense, like, helpful and loving energy around me. I honestly don't ever sense anything other than that, and so I think this has a lot to do with it. I'm always making art, like, constantly, and constantly being conscious of, like, clearing that debris, but I actually think that this is an opportunity for you, <laughs> that you can actually connect with these spirits. I mean, maybe you'll expand your practices. Maybe you'll be some kind of medium in the future. Um, maybe there's some type of gift that's hidden in this quote-unquote issue that will come out for you. So I would also welcome it. I mean, you don't want to force this to go away. You know, whatever you resist persists and whatnot. I would also kind of welcome whatever it is that you're seeing or experiencing and like just know that's like a part of your reality for a reason and like um, to try to like just go into that and trust it, um, meditate on it. So interesting. Now we're going to, I don't know. I just decided to pull some cards about like your religious background and, um, you're just like, oh my gosh, probably. But I think a lot of people who are watching this can probably relate of, you know, coming from a religious background with like strict doctrine and rules and then opening up to like your own unique spiritual path and journey. Because what I'm teaching here. And on the channel is not a specific religion. Um, I guess there's a lot of paganism involved here, but if I was to label it down to something, but honestly, it's more just about getting you to just embrace your own spirituality and to trust your own path. And it's all about helping you pull up your inner strength. And so I'm not going to say like, this is a religion or like do this religion or do that or this. It's more about just being open and following your own path and your own heart and your own soul and what you're being called to and obviously you're at this point where you're taking reiki classes so you're really trusting and having faith in these skills and abilities and you're not necessarily the kind of person that's into labels but it does frustrate you how um you know you worry about people who will judge you for taking this path and i completely understand that i mean i still to this day sometimes worry momentarily before I remind myself that it doesn't matter what people think <laughs> all that matters is like what you think and how you feel and like your connection um with d the divine like it's between you and the divine you and your higher self you know that's how I feel about it and you will know in your heart and your soul if something's right for you and um I think that's what you need to hang on to they're saying go outside like go out into nature because you have such a strong connection with nature and whenever you go out there you remember your truth and it connects you with your truth. Because there is still a little bit of insecurity over your truth. But there's going to become a point where your truth becomes greater than anything that anyone could say or think. And you're pretty much there. And um, But yes, obviously this is something that might affect you for a while. But they're saying to like anchor yourself in your truth. And that will help you move forward. And like this is who you are. Like you're very clairvoyant. Like you're very, you're totally a healer. <laughs> um so um next we're going to go ahead and move on for tips for balancing and centering 
and I asked for like very specific advice for you because I know that you've already learned in your training probably so many tips that I'm hoping that you'll share with me. <laughs> but um, yes, let's see what if there's any like specific messages. And um, I'm actually seeing that there's some toxic individuals around you in your life that you're going to need to separate yourself from. Like right now, you're kind of cloudy on how that's going to happen, but um, somehow you're going to be able to wriggle, wriggle your way out of this. It's just you need to identify who these people are and trust your gut. Because they're saying that your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So you're going to need to part ways with um, whoever these people are. Um, it might just be one person or a couple people, or maybe this is something that's already happened. But remember, I keep seeing like this new path with like moving, so... Um, I don't want to project too much of what's going on with me in my life, but I do see this for you. <laughs> um, next, what we're going to do is, um, so basically, I guess for you, balancing and centering is more about like creating energetic space for you to go through this metamorphosis. There's certain people around you that like aren't going to understand it and you just need to have like physical and energetic space to go through this. Um, next, we're going to talk about... Um, I'm going to scan your body and see what chakras need work. Your root chakra. That's pretty much it. Your root chakra. Your center for abundance and um, stability and security. Because you, you're supposed to take a leap of faith and face your fears. Something that you've been trying to manifest, you're supposed to take radical action on it. My gut feeling is kind of like pointing up here to this whole thing, but I don't know. It could be anything. Um, they're saying there's going to be fairness when it comes to your financial situation. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner, but you're going to have to extend yourself <laughs> in like some way in the near future. So that's what's coming through. Um, and you, so that your root chakra is tied with that. So I'm sure you know all the healing techniques for that, but at least you know where to start your root chakra. Um, now we're going to look into animals that are here to help you. And, um, this is so cool. You have the dolphin, um, and also mermaid. If you're into like mythical totems, then look up the mermaid too. Why not like research that for fun? Um, but the dolphin is here to help you play and to help you remember to nurture your inner child because that's something that you're kind of missing and um, your inner child is very much tied to your root chakra. I, I feel like you're a very hard worker. You're very sensible, practical, and logical despite the fact that you're very like totally an empath and sensitive at the same time. So you totally have the business sense and the mind to like grow this business and to make this work for yourself with your healing. Um, but I'm seeing that, like, you need to also remember that like, there's other parts to your life and, um, you know, you need to play and to relax and to enjoy and inside everyone, there's an inner child that just wants like fun and laughter and sunshine. And you need to make sure that you get those things or else you get kind of crabby and like your energy gets blocked. And I see like some of these energy blocks you have, um, like Taking action in the, in the 3D is going to be important. You can always do your healings, but it's time for you to take action in the 3D. So take your inner child to a park and run around. <laughs> so sit on a bench and watch the birds. Go out into nature. That's like the easiest thing for me. I, I love just going out to like the ocean or the creek or going on a hike or climbing like a mountain or a hill or um, my inner child loves that. But maybe your inner child loves to paint and draw um, maybe your inner child likes to dance and play dress up or whatever. Um, self-care is coming up for you. <laughs> so, um, I would just go ahead and think about that. Next, we're going to go ahead and see what the next step is for you, um, on this path. Basically with, um, becoming the amazing person that you are <laughs> and, um, doing this healing work. So what I see here is they want you to continue. <laughs> They're just like continue. Continue building your skills. So you're on the right you're on the right path right now. This is confirmation. They want you to be strong about some of those people I mentioned you have to leave behind. They're saying um 
You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy... S <laughs> Sorry. You're stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. After about 20 minutes, I just lose the ability to do this. <laughs> um, overall advice. Overall advice. You got the sun, which is incredible. I really feel like things are going to be working out for you. I mean, you're really in the right place right now. There's a lot of confirmation coming through in this reading. This says, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So that's awesome. You're pretty much lit right now. Things are really flowing into place for you. You're leaving this behind. Um, everything in this reading was positive. I got a lot of information. <laughs> and I'm excited to stay connected to trade readings. I can tell that that healing you did on me worked. Like, I can just feel it. Okay, I just pulled one more card. Oh my gosh, two more cards for you. From my personal deck. So you got the... Ladybug card, which means your wish is granted. And so there are definitely manifestations coming through. This card does not lie. I don't see it very often, but when I do, I don't know, like some legit stuff comes through. So they're saying, don't push too hard. Your wish will be fulfilled if you allow it to come to you. Also, the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. And this ladybug says, I herald in a time in your life where all the wishes you have had are being fulfilled. Let it rain. You can take, take a deep breath and stop expecting the future to be like the past. Remember everything that has led you here. Remember the miracles. You are taken care of. Have faith. I remember I made this at a time in my life where I had just been doing a lot of shadow work and a lot of healing, like the same thing that like you just came from and like taking responsibility for my life and like just like really sorting things out. And I worked on that for a while and it was like a really lonely path, you know, because this guy is like holding this burden and carrying it alone. And then um, afterward, I don't know, I got connected with some really awesome people some manifestations started coming through. The universe gave me everything I asked for and more. And so I was inspired to make this card because I was like, if this happens again, I want a heads up because that would be cool. And so, um, yeah, I pulled it a couple more times as, a, as like a heads up to another period in my life that was very similar. So I'm almost kind of jealous that you pull, I pulled this card for you because I want this card. <laughs> um, every time I see a ladybug, I always see it as a sign too of good luck. So be on the lookout for ladybugs. Maybe you'll see them more now that like it's been brought to your awareness. And they're saying fear is the mind killer. So um, they're saying the changes you're about to make are safe and for your highest good. And opportunities, healing, change, and an, an important transition into all of these is now before you. So I hope that all of this resonates with you and um, I totally just like made a mess. Check this out. <laughs> this is your reading. <laughs> I hope that all of this resonated with you. I had so much fun tapping into your energy. I, I laughed so much this time. I feel like it's because there's a lot of light in you and um, a lot of work has gone into this balancing and so I think you can definitely see a lot of confirmation coming through for you in this reading so thank you again for hitting me up and for anyone else who's watching if this resonated i'm curious to know so definitely leave comments and if you would like a personal reading i have openings for this weekend so um hit me up my information is in the description below all you have to do is email me and we work it out from there peace out